The first Denisovan bone was discovered in southern Siberia in 2008. It was a pinky bone about one centimeter long. The bone had been uncovered by a member of the Russian archaeological team excavating the Denisova cave. It is unclear who first spotted the bone, field director Mikhail Shunkov or an archaeological student intern. Project leader Anatoly Deravianko took the bone, stuck it in his pocket, and brought it back to Moscow. It was filed away and forgotten about for about six months. The Russian scientists then decided to do something unconventional. They cut the pinky bone in half. Ewan Calloway, a journalist with Nature.com, wrote in 2019, Lost Denisovan bone reveals surprisingly human-like finger. According to Calloway, Denarvianko decided to divide the bone and send the pieces to two labs to see whether DNA could be extracted from either half. The top half was sent to researchers en Paris au l'Institut Jacques Monod. The bottom half was sent to Svante Pabo's lab in Leipzig at the Max Planck Institute. But as Callaway lays out at Nature, the top half went missing, a decade-long mystery surrounding one of the most important hominid fossils ever found. Monumental Discovery in Leipzig Ben Sviola is an archaeologist with the University of Toronto. He has participated in numerous archaeological digs in Siberia. He is also affiliated with the Max Planck Institute in Leipzig. In 2010, Viola and Johannes Krauss extracted DNA from the bottom half of the pinky. To their astonishment, the DNA did not match either Homo sapiens or Neanderthals. Krauss and the team at Max Planck had discovered an entirely new human species. Pebo called up Deravianco and gave him the news. Deravianco was pleased. The two agreed to call the new species Denisovans after the cave where it was found. Notes aside, the cave is named after a religious zealot named Dennis. He lived in the cave in the 1800s. CBC, Denisovan's Mysterious Human Relatives, 2019. What the researchers didn't know at the time was that after the bone was excavated from Denisova Cave in Siberia in 2008, it was cut in half. Continuing, quote, It was a shock to us that somebody had the other half, end quote. Vence Viola, University of Toronto. PBS, Fossil Finger Points to Surprising Link, 2019. After it was unearthed from a cave in Siberia in 2008, the fossil was photographed, then split in half. Continuing, it was sent to two different labs for analysis. Original images of the bone went missing, stripping researchers of the only data capturing its intact shape. Ever Maria Geigel, co-director of Monod, was in possession of the top half. She had done a photographic analysis but put the project to the side. Viola had a random conversation with Geigel about her current research. She mentioned the mysterious pinky bone. The two quickly realized they were in possession of two halves of a whole. Soon after, the two bone fragments were reunited.
the Russian connection. The Russians never gave an explanation as to why they sliced the Denisova bone in half. They did, however, invite Pabo and David Reich to the Denisova Cave Project campgrounds for a symposium on the newly discovered Denisovans and to observe ongoing excavation efforts. As Reich described it on his blog, the trip was full of lively discussions and vodka toasts. Zastrovia, David. Besvanini. Eta harasho. The Denisovan pinky bone debacle remains one of the greatest mysteries of paleoanthropology, ranking right up there with Joe Caldeon, the Homo erectus skulls in China, and the Piltdown Man hoax. To this day, the Russians have remained vague and elusive. The question as to why they would chop the precious finger bone in half remains a mystery. Fortunately, the researchers at Minode and Max Planck were able to make sense of it all. As a result, we now know of the existence of the magnificent Denisovans. Kaktila, izvenici pažehosta, ja panimal toke ne miroke paroške, dobra pažehot, roške gavarašum. Spasiba bolšoje, do svedanja. More bizarre and mysterious stories on paleoanthropology coming soon to this channel. And stay tuned for our upcoming video on modern day crypto hominids. Denisovans walk among us. Thank you for watching and a special shout out to those of you who have been with this channel since the beginning. We're nearing 1,000 subscribers. If you're not yet a member of the Right Anthro family, please subscribe and hit that like button. Thank you.